Today we're taking a look at everything AVAX Gaming. We're gonna be taking a look at some projects that have already launched, see how they're doing so far, as well as new projects that have chosen AVAX as an ecosystem to build their gaming community on. So first and foremost, let's take a look at AVAX's price. We're sitting right now at 2662. And if we go deeper into the price chart of AVAX, we can see that we've broken out of a key level of resistance. You know, we were trending right around 2160 and we had called this level in terms of support and resistance. We do see right over here, it was having a hard time breaking above it. Then once it broke above, you know, it held some support very nicely here and we had this next move all the way up to about 2770 and right now we're consolidating around 2660. So where I believe we're going to continue consolidating is right around this 2650 or so because this represents another swing high we had back in July of 2022. So we may have a bit of consolidation here, but after that, we are looking at a $30 AVAX. So that's kind of what I'm thinking on AVAX for the next few days or even weeks. It is gonna depend on Bitcoin because of course, if Bitcoin consolidates within this range, I do see altcoins, you know, having another leg up. AVAX has been doing crazy things over the last weeks. I do believe this is partly due to crypto gaming on AVAX doing very well. So ultimately, you know, if crypto gaming on AVAX does well, well, you would think that AVAX itself is also going to do well. So that's what I'm looking at right now. So definitely look at this level around 2640 in terms of support. If it consolidates, you know, within the next four hour candles or days, it could see another upside to $30. And if that were the case from here to there, we're looking at another about 13% gain. So keep an eye out on that. And the other reason why I'm bullish on AVAX as a whole, if we just take a look at this thread, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below because I think it does a great job recapping everything for AVAX. Well, first and foremost, we can talk about some of the stats, some very good stats for the AVAX ecosystem. He then goes into bridges, talks about DeFi DEXs. So we've talked about Trader Joe in the past. I think that because it's the biggest decentralized exchange for AVAX, I do think that that is going to do well too. Now we go into DeFi lending, DeFi perpetuals, which is another narrative I'm very bullish on. It goes into vaults and tools, but if we go down to crypto gaming, well, one of the things here he talks about is Gunzilla, the developer behind Play Off The Grid, has actually decided to choose AVAX for building its community. So that's gonna be a key game to look forward to in the future. Play Off The Grid is now on AVAX or is going to be on AVAX. We also have talked about Shrapnel, which is another very popular game on AVAX. We have Heroes Chain as well as Play Providence, TSM, Build On Beam. So there's just so many happening on AVAX now. So if you are new to AVAX, what I would recommend you do is go onto their website and just look for their news articles. They talked about different games coming out. If we have a look at this one, they're talking about the five great Web3 games to come out on AVAX. And we're talking about Off The Grid, which we just looked at, Blitz, Shrapnel, Domi, and Fableborn. All of these games are gonna be coming out, some of them already out. And just taking a look at Off The Grid, well, how is AVAX being implemented here is that Gunzilla, the studio behind Off The Grid, is also developing the Avalanche subnet guns, which will offer tools and a launch pad to other crypto gaming studios. So this is, you know, some of the spots where you can get that early news. So we see that there is going to be another launch pad following suit with the off the grid game. And if you go on to off the grid, well, you can have a look at, you know, their Twitter page, their um, website, and we can see it is going to be some sort of battle royale game. Now, this has been played with, you know, some of the top streamers already, such as Dr. Disrespect, Clicks, Imperial. So obviously there's a lot of eyes on this games and this is definitely one of the ones I'm looking at for the future. 
Now, another resource you can use to find projects on AVAX, well, you can go to their Discover tab and click on projects. You're gonna be brought to this page here where you have all the projects being built on AVAX's subnets. So you can have, you know, DeFi, infrastructure, gaming, whatever the case may be, even launching soon projects. You can go on to gaming and you can see all of the projects that are gonna be launching or have already launched. So, you know, we talked about Shrapnel. We're gonna take a look at that one. Bloodloop is a project that is going to launch on AVAX, which is actually incubated by Cedify. So we're gonna have a look at that one too, but this is the way that I'm doing my research, you know, making sure I'm staying up to date on what is happening within AVAX's ecosystem, when it's related to crypto gaming, and even when it's related to any other of the narratives I'm bullish on. So if we take a look at some of my favorite crypto gaming ecosystems on AVAX, we can talk about playable games. This one here is sitting at about 8.6 tenths of a penny. Now its market cap is roughly $40 million. It is slightly higher actually on their ecosystem. I don't believe CoinMarketCap is reporting it properly here. We'll take a look at that in a second. But just looking at this monthly chart, I mean, it's up about 356%. And I do believe that because AVAX still has room to go, as we looked at, I believe it's going to go to $30 and we're probably going to see another run onto crypto gaming. I wouldn't put it past it for playable to actually reach that one cent mark. Now, if you aren't familiar with Playable, they actually have five games that you can currently play on their website here, and they do run with nodes. So there is going to be more tokens coming into circulation as these nodes emit tokens. But the tokenomics for me right now is not the biggest issue just because of the entire sentiment of crypto gaming. Now, if we take a look at their blockchain, because remember, this is a specific subnet on AVAX, we can have a look at the transactions that are happening. You see everything that is happening within this own ecosystem. But going back here, we do see that the market cap is slightly higher. We're looking at about $58 million. But again, a very small market cap when you think of the grand scheme of crypto gaming, and we're not even remotely close to the next bull market peak. So in my opinion, crypto gaming still has a lot of room to grow. Now, if we quickly take a look at Playable's chart here, we had drawn some technical analysis on this, but taking a look at what had happened, we had a buy area around 5.5. It did not get reached, unfortunately, but we do see that it broke out and it went all the way up to about one cent. So obviously there's resistance there if we were to go back here, but right now we may be consolidating in this new range. So have a look at this one because it's definitely one that's going to keep growing in my opinion. And of course, if it is able to break past this 8.8, .8 resistance, then that is definitely good. It is below here, so I might consult it a little lower, but ultimately this is one you should have on your watch list. Now, moving on to a crypto gaming ecosystem that hasn't launched yet on AVAX, but has decided to use AVAX for its ecosystem, we can talk about Blood Loop. Now, this is a 5v5 tactical shooter game. They don't have many followers right now. We're looking at about 10,000 followers. So it hasn't launched yet. It's still relatively new, but it is going to be incubated by Cedify. So if you're looking to get in on this project before it's even publicly available to the public, then definitely look into Cedify. We're gonna talk about them in a second here. But what this game is, if we take a look at their website, we take a look at the sneak peek video that they have for us. If we go ahead and just look at what kind of gameplay we're looking at, we're looking at a, like I said, 5v5 shooter. It does look very smooth here. So, you know, if this is another game that's going to launch on AVAX, with AVAX being very hot right now with crypto gaming, especially with a new project, you know, launching on Cedify, I would see this coin or token definitely do well when it launches on AVAX. So this is another one I have on my watch list. I'm following them on all their socials and I am expecting some big things about this game when it does officially launch.
Now, if we take a look at Cetify, in my opinion, this is one of the better launch pads, especially for crypto gaming as well as AI. As we just saw, they are going to be launching this one here, Blood Loop. And the way launch pads actually work is that you have to hold a certain amount of their own native token. And depending on how much you own, you are going to get a certain allocation in these upcoming pools. Now, depending on how how much of the native token you have in this case s fund you're gonna get a different allocation for these upcoming project launches and this is even before the public has access to the project so you're gonna get the best bang for your buck obviously the lowest price per coin or per token but you are going to need a certain amount of s fund to actually get into these rounds so as we can see with this tier system it really depends on how much S fun you have then you have to stake it into their application for you to get a different pool weight depending on the amount of S fun you have then once you have that you are going to be able to of course participate in some of their upcoming projects and they do also offer a guaranteed refund which is quite interesting it does say that all Cetify IDOs have a guaranteed refund policy of seven or 14 days so that is obviously a benefit of Cetify. And right now, if we take a look at its price, it's been doing very, very well because as crypto gaming is gaining more traction, people are definitely looking into launch pads, definitely looking into Cetify. For the day today, it is up about 12%. But if we go up over the last month, it is up about 140%. So definitely have a look at Cetify in my opinion. Like I said, I do really like this launch pad. It is kind of a proxy investment as well because if you are purchasing Cetify or S Fund tokens to get an allocation in these upcoming projects that they launch, well, you are also investing in the S Fund token itself. And just looking at, you know, the hype of 2021 back in the last bull market, Cetify went all the way up to about $16. It's sitting just shy of $3 now. So there is still quite a bit of upside on the Cetify token itself. Now, just quickly taking a look at what happened to Cetify in 2021. Well, here, if we go back to one of their tweets, they were averaging a return of about 44x with 14 projects that they've launched back then. So definitely a lot of potential on Cetify here. Definitely one you want to look at, especially if you want to get in early on some of these projects that are going to be choosing Cetify to launch because of its reputation. So again, if you're looking to get into blood loop, then definitely looking to get into Cetify. If you want a allocation before the public gets their hand on blood loop. Now, if we take a look at another very popular ecosystem within a AVAX subnet, we can talk about Beam. This is the migration from Merit Circle, the MC token, over to Beam Network. And this one here is quite interesting. And the reason I want to bring it up today is because, you know, over the last month that it's been out, it has done about 214%. The market cap of this one is at 700 million. But what is very interesting with this one here is that Beam is a whole ecosystem of crypto gaming. So think of it this way. You have AVAX, then you have AVAX's subnets. Beam is actually one of AVAX's subnets. And within Beam, you have crypto gaming ecosystem being built on top of Beam. So ultimately, if you think Beam is going to do well, if you think projects launching on Beam are going to do well, well, you also think that AVAX is going to do well. So in my opinion, they kind of just have a chain reaction. And I think that all of these ecosystems are most likely to do well in the next bull market. So if we take a look at Beam's Twitter, they do have an announcement coming in the next few hours at 3.30 p.m. PST. And they say this, which is actually Latin, and it means all three are perfect. So I'm not too sure what's going to be happening here, but keep your eye out on this one. And if we take a look at Beam, what I do like to do with this ecosystem is try to understand 
projects that are actually going to be building on Beam. Since I like Beam, since I'm bullish on it, I do think it's going to do well. Well, I want to see which projects are actually being built on Beam. Now, if you go ahead and you actually click on Beam Swap, not on Beam Comparison app, it's going to bring you to their swap page. And here you can see which coins or tokens are available within Beam's ecosystem. So the recent one that has been added is this GOB token, which is Goons of Balatrune. I have no idea what this is. So then I went on CoinMarketCap, I looked it up, and as we can see, it has a very typical crypto gaming chart. It launched back in 2022 and around September, has only gone down since then. It looks like a market cap very, very low of 1.4 million. If we go over the last seven days, it it hasn't done a whole lot, but again, this is one of the projects I would be interested in doing research on because it is migrating over to Beam. You can go onto their Twitter and see that this is happening on Beam. They've confirmed it. So again, it is interesting because as Beam builds out its ecosystem, we are gonna get more and more crypto gaming projects migrating over to Beam. And hopefully we get more and more crypto games launching on Beam, thus increasing the activity on Beam's network. Network. Now to take this even one step further, if we go into the analytics on AVAX's subnets, we can filter out some different subnets. So if we take a look at Beam's transactions, we can see that there is definitely an uptick of transactions over the days. So more and more people are coming onto Beam, which is ultimately a good thing for the Beam ecosystem. And we have a bunch of different subnets here as well. Now, another ecosystem I wanted to talk about is DeFi Kingdoms. They have a subnet on AVAX as well. If we take a look at its transaction charts, we do see that last year, this was definitely a lot more popular. And then it had a bit of a dip over the summer months, but it does seem like it wants to come back up as the transactions are slowly but surely coming back up. Now, if we take a look at DeFi Kingdom's token price or coin price, we do see that this is the jewel ticker. And over the last seven days, it is up about 100 or 200 percent. Over the last month, it's up about 236 percent. But again, taking a look at its, you know, all time chart, it is down about 96 percent. Now we are looking at a market cap of roughly 26 million dollars, so a very small market cap, but this is another one I'd be putting on my watch list. And again, with the analytics from the actual, you know, subnet, we can see that transactions are definitely trending up and the price of their underlying coin is also trending up. Now, something else I like to do here is compare different subnets. So this subnet compared to Beam is, you know, much bigger, obviously, as it's been around for a lot longer, but you can do comparisons with that too, which helps your crypto research. Now, last but not least, I wanted to talk about Shrapnel, which is another game on AVAX that you have to be aware of. This one here is sitting at about 38 cents. Over the last month, it's up about 275%. And definitely, you wanna put this one on your watch list, potentially even buy the dips, because as crypto gaming is going to continue rallying, there may be some pullbacks. Of course, it's normal. Nothing goes up a 1,000% without doing a small correction. But as these corrections do happen, well, if you missed out initially, you may be looking to purchase some of the dips if you are into dollar cost averaging. But of course, do your research on all of these. Shrapnel right now is sitting at a market cap of 91 million. So again, it's below 100 million. It's a bit bigger than the other ecosystems we've looked at, but it is a much bigger community that is behind Shrapnel as it is a triple A game. So with all of that being said, definitely keep an eye out for new crypto gaming projects launching on AVAX as well as the current ones who've already launched on AVAX. Have a look at everything here. Keep some of the key links down below in the description in your favorites so you have quick and easy access to understand what's coming up. But if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.